and I have a liter of water before I do anything. And this is where Figsy sleeps. Hey Figsy, good morning. Oh, a big yawn. I'm gonna have a little play with Figsy. She's my little crazy rat, look at her. Always wanting a belly rub. So now I'll do about 45 minutes on my ebook that I'm bringing out soon and maybe check a few emails as well. Alrighty, time for a bike ride. Love my morning lymph pump. I don't do it every morning, but most mornings I go for exercise. Morning ride. It's all happening. I'm going to go for about half an hour today because I've got a few things to do. Uh, this is probably my average ride half hour to an hour, a couple of times a week, maybe a jog here and there, nothing too strenuous. But consistent folks, I'm always consistent with my training. You gotta move. You can't be sedentary, it's just not healthy. Ah, oh, so this is sad. I'm gonna look around snake here, someone's run over it. You know, see, if you were a true meat eater, you would just grab that and just rip into that be like free food, yum. You know, and don't try and pretend that you have teeth that are meat eating. They're called custards of vegetation. I love drinking from this tap because this is spring water straight from the spring. It's so, it's just tasteless, but you know, really light and just really clean. All right, time to go home. Get on with the day. I've done my bike ride, I'm ready for some fructose. fructose. And here we have bananas. So I'm going to smash in some bananas. See how nice and ripe these bananas are? That's how your bananas are meant to be. And we want nice, ripe, spotty, easy to digest bananas. In Australia we say bananas. It sounds very posh, we say bananas, we put an R in the bananas. But in America you say bananas, and I actually like saying bananas better for some reason. Just more fun. Something different. Alright, so bananas go in. Bananas, bananas and dates are my favorite food. Bananas and dates, oh yeah baby. That's about how much water I put in. Okay, so a fair bit. Bananas and dates for breakfast. Oh yes we do. So a big part of the day I'm actually editing videos for YouTube using Final Cut Pro and also surfing around the net a bit. Okay, so here I am at the supermarket, fruit market. This isn't all organic, this is actually conventional. But these are really nice mangoes, so I'm willing to eat them. Can't always get organic. 24.80. So time for the dog park. Isn't it big? Time for the dog park. Somehow I think he's over 14 kilos. Oh, look. Watch him. Oh, he just threw up. 
So here we are at the dog park, got my little snack of mangoes, got six mangoes there. Now I'm just having a punnet of these super sweet little yellow tomatoes while I'm driving. Alright, so here I am at my favourite organic shop in Australia. In the world really, it's called Organically Grown. And look at the produce. It's amazing. So I'm in the process of having these three 300 gram packets of cherries, organic cherries. They are actually really nice. It's a few underripe ones, but not too bad. This is pretty tasty. I'm in the traffic. Okay, so I'm a little bit excited. This is delivery, and this these amazing bowls. I love these. They're from vegetables.com. They're molded on real fruit. They're hand painted, super high quality. You know, you can put a huge salad in it. It's definitely like a raw food size bowl. Like, seriously, look how big that is. I've got a big head, folks. i got a very big head. Especially with this beautiful, I love this. This is like a, a beanie, a watermelon beanie that my friend Jojo made me. And I think you can get a few different um, fruits made for you if you ask her. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. And you can ask her if she can make you one. Because these are so cool. Thank you, Jojo. I love it. And we got cantaloupe. Bowl. So these are molded up real fruit. Very, very cool. I mean, they're bowls that you will have for the rest of your life if you don't smash them. Coconut. Excellent. And I've got some um, vegan lip balms here. Definitely. I'm going to put a link to these in the description below. These are very, they're very cool. And we got a calendar. Yes, we did. We got a little calendar. Yes, more editing. Hey, for now we're at dinner and I'm going to have potatoes. What a surprise. I'm going to have just plain potatoes. And, you know, I have many days still raw, but I'm having potatoes today. You know, just to show you how easy it is to do the raw till four lifestyle. It's dead easy. It's the cheapest lifestyle on the planet. Seriously, there's a lot of people um, who say, oh, you know, vegan's too expensive. Uh-uh, it's not too expensive. Rice, potatoes, vegetables, they're some of the cheapest foods on the planet, okay? So don't use it as an excuse. Your body, you do not have a discount body, okay? So put in the best fuel possible, and that is carbohydrates, okay? High-carb foods are the queen. We don't want any of that high-fat rubbish clogging up your cells, clogging up your arteries, clogging up your bowels, all right? If you want a flat stomach, High carb all the way. Fruit, vegetables. You got it made. You really do. So you gotta make sure you eat enough. Oh, let's just talk about you know the latest videos I've been doing. Because some people have been, you know, half and on about how they don't like them and they think they're fat shaming and stuff like that. Oh, you know, like how are we ever going to, you know, come to a solution? on this problem, this worldwide epidemic called obesity, how are we going to find a solution to this problem if we cannot even talk about it? You know, the, the powers to be do not want you to be healthy. They want you to be sick so they can continue raking in the cash, big pharma raking in the cash while you get sicker and sicker and sicker. And the thing I love about this lifestyle is it's not a deprivation. It tastes good, it tastes amazing, and it gives you amazing results. And the reason it tastes good is because we are high carbohydrate creatures. So when we're eating foods that meet our high carb needs, ding, we get the glucose to the brain and we feel good. It just works like that. If we're eating foods, high fat foods, junky foods, animal products, it's not going to meet that need, that glucose need that our body and our brain desperately requires. It requires a steady flow of glucose and high carb foods, fruits are the best sources. So give your body what it needs, what it desires, what it really truly craves and you're going to be satisfied, you're going to lean right down, you're going to feel fantastic and finally have your health in your own hands and not give it away to somebody else and also give your money away. Okay, so... Do it! Do it for me! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put these potatoes on. Okay, so here we have the big bowl of chippies. Okay, there's like 1.4 chippies in the oven. Chippies in the okay, oven. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to make a um, tomato soup. Hello, so Fruity, make sure you check her out. Then it's time for bed. Let's end the girl.